Hi friends, welcome to room nine, our region's largest classroom. My name is Mrs. Houston, and I normally am a kindergarten teacher at Hancock Elementary located in South County, St. Louis. But today I'm here to teach you a social studies lesson for second grade. But even if you're not in second grade, you can definitely stick around and learn with me because everyone needs to know a little bit about social studies. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about rules, laws, and what it means to be a good citizen. So who thinks they know what is a rule? Who can tell me what is a rule? Here is a picture or an example. These children in the classroom are following a rule. What is a rule? You're right, a rule is a guide for how to behave in a specific situation. So for example, in this picture, these students are following the teacher's rule. They're sitting on the carpet with their listening ears while she teaches a lesson. That is a rule that we might have in our school. Now, this year, starting out, we might have some different kind of rules. Normally, when we go to school, we sit in our desk, we raise our hand. Those are types of rules that we have. But I know that some of you are going to be doing your school virtual. And that might mean that you have to do some different rules or have some different rules, like maybe remembering to mute your microphone so that your friends in your class can listen to the teacher's lesson. Or maybe you'll have some of the same rules, like you might still have to raise your hand to leave your computer if you need to get a drink or use the restroom. So your teachers, I'm sure, will teach you all about the rules that you have for virtual learning or if you're learning in your classroom. Now, another word that we're going to learn about today is the word law. Does anybody know what a law is? Mm -hmm. Great. A law is a set of rules. Okay, so we know that a rule is just a guide to how we should behave in certain situations, but a law is a set of rules that we have to follow, that everybody has to follow, that our government, like your city or your state or even the president, makes up. Okay, so a law is something that everybody has to follow, and it's the same for everyone. But a rule is something that could be different depending on the situation. So, for example, you might have a certain set of rules that you follow at home, and you might have a different set of rules that you follow at school. But a law is a set of rules that everyone has to follow, like wearing your seatbelt whenever you are in the car. Okay. Now, another word that I want to talk about today is the word citizen. So a citizen is a member of our city, our state, or our country. So in a story that we're going to listen to today, a book that we're going to read, we are going to hear the word citizen, and we're going to be talking about some different ways a citizen can be a good citizen. So that means a member our city, our state, our country that makes good decisions, that follows the rules and follows the laws, okay? So our central question today again is, what is a rule? What is a law? How are they the same or similar and how are they different? Okay. And we are going to listen to a book today. This is a non-fiction book called Why Do We Need Rules and Laws? This is a nonfiction book, and we know that nonfiction books are true, um, and they teach us facts, okay? And this story was by Jessica Pegas. So why do we need rules and laws? And if you look at the front cover, you can already tell that there are some rules and laws happening. So this woman here is a crossing guard. She has this yellow vest on to let us know that she's a crossing guard and to help cars to see her 
and she has a stop sign. And we know that a stop sign tells us that we have to stop, right? Now look at this boy. He is following some rules and some laws. For example, he is wearing a helmet on his head to keep him safe. That is a rule, okay? If you are riding a motorcycle, in some states it's even a law. He's also using the crosswalk to cross the parking lot. How smart of him. This is a great way to stay safe, okay? All right, let's go ahead and start reading our story today and see if we can figure out what the difference between a rule and a law is and what are some ways that we could be a good citizen? So if we look here, we can see this boy has a police hat on and his whistle and he's using his hand signals to say stop. What is in this book? So it looks like we're going to be learning about what rules are, why rules are important, rules for the classroom, rules at school, rules in the community, follow the law, rules and laws must be fair, all together now, it's good to have rules, learning more, words to know, an index and a book to author. So this book is going to have lots of great information for us. So we're going to start off right here. It says, what are rules? Hmm, do your homework, before going outside to play. Treat others as you would like to be treated. These may be rules you have heard of before. Rules are instructions that tell us the correct way to behave. They help us know what is expected of us. We follow rules at home, at school, and even in our community. For example, brushing your teeth is a very good rule. But where do you follow that rule? Do you brush your teeth at home or at school? You're right, that's a rule for home. A community is a place where people live, work, and play. People who belong to a community are called citizens. Oh, we learned about that word. It is important for citizens to follow all the rules at home, at school, and in the community. Follow the rules Sorry, following the rules keeps us healthy and safe. Following the rules even makes things more fun. So when everyone knows the rules to a game, it is so much more fun to play. So you can see this family playing a game. And if you follow the rules of the game, then everyone has fun. So why are rules so important? Well, Rules are a part of everyday lives. There are rules wherever you go. Rules keep us safe. Rules also help us get along with, get along and help us to problem solve. So in this picture, Ava sees a group of kids teasing Stokey. Ava wants to help, but she is not sure how. Then she remembers the rule of standing up for others. So Ava, tells the kids that bullying is not allowed. So she is following one of the school's rules of no bullying and standing up for someone else. Everyone has a responsibility to follow the rules. A responsibility is something a person should take care of or do. Following the rules keeps everyone happy and safe. You can see she's holding a sign here that says, bullying with that circle and crossed out, that means no bullying, okay? Rules for the classroom. Your teacher makes rules for your classroom. What if no one in your classroom followed those rules? What if no one listened to your teacher? Imagine if no one raised their hand before speaking. Everyone would be talking at once. No one would know what to do next, and it would be very confusing. Your classroom would not be fun, and it wouldn't be a very safe place. And I don't think very much learning would be happening either. This is why rules in the classroom are so important. 
Rules help everyone know how to behave. Rules make your classroom a safe place where everyone can share and learn. Without rules, it would be hard to get things done. Classroom rules allow everyone to learn and have fun. So look at this picture. In this classroom, these students are not following the rules. They are up out of their seats, running around, laughing, and horse playing. And look at this teacher. How do we think she's feeling right now? It seems like she's feeling a little overwhelmed and maybe even anxious, frustrated, okay? And look at this girl. I can tell that she is putting her hands over her ears, which is telling me it's too loud, which means she's probably not learning. So rules are very important in the classroom. Rules at school. Your principal makes rules for your whole school. No running in the halls and no climbing fences in the schoolyard are examples of important school rules that help keep everyone safe. Most schools also have rules against bullying. A bully is someone who harms you and makes you feel bad. School rules are made for all students, no matter how old they are or what grade they are in. When everyone follows the school rules, they help make their school a great place for everyone. The schools have rules to keep everyone safe. rules in the community. So the community is a place where you live, your school and all of your friends' homes and your home and stores that are near your home and your school, that is what is considered your community, okay? So citizens follow rules to make sure their communities are great places for everyone. One of the most important rules in a community is to show respect. This means you follow rules to show you care about others. Showing respect means you are always aware of how your actions affect others. So if you can see on this page, she is following a rule in her community. What do you think that rule is? Right. She is making sure her dog is on a leash while she takes it for a walk. Why do you think following that community rule is important? Right, exactly, because if your dog isn't on a leash, it could run up and jump on someone or it could even bite someone. Right? Or it could, run, it could run out into the street and then a car might have to slam on their brakes and that's not very safe. So that is why walking your dog on a leash is important in the community. Some examples of important rules in the community are being polite to your neighbors, not littering and walking your pet on a leash. When you show respect and follow these rules, you help everyone in your community be safe and happy. So these citizens are showing respect and helping others in their community. So some ways that they're showing help and respect is um, they are picking up litter and recycling it. What a great way to show respect for your community. And these kiddos are helping someone else in their community plant flowers. I love that. Okay, so those are all really great rules. Now let's learn a little bit about what a law is, because remember, a rule and a law are a little bit different. So follow the law. Communities have rules called laws that everyone must follow. A law is a rule made by government. A government is a group of people who run a country, province, state, or even a community. Some laws are made up to keep people safe, such as wearing seatbelts. Other laws are made up to keep communities clean, such as where you are allowed to put your garbage. All laws are made to help a community be a great place for everyone. So in this picture, you can see he's wearing his seatbelt, so he's following the law. And this sign says, neighbors, please no dumping, which means do not throw your trash there. Make sure you throw your trash in a trash can for the, gar for the garbage companies to come and pick up with the trash truck, right? Police officers are part of the government. They work hard to keep everyone in the community safe. 
Police officers make sure people follow the laws. People who break laws face consequences. A consequence is what happens because of something you've done. So there can be good consequences and there can be bad consequences. So for example, if you're at school and you do something really awesome for another student, at my school, we give out leader tickets or tiger tickets. And if we see a student who's being a great citizen and a really good friend, we might give them one of those tickets, which would be a good consequence. But if you're driving and you're going too fast, police officers might pull you over and give you a ticket that you have to pay because you were speeding. That would be not a very good consequence, right? So this man was driving too fast. The consequence is that he's receiving a ticket and he'll have to pay a fine. Rules and laws must be fair. Hmm. What does that mean? Fair. Let's read and find out. Every citizen has rights. A right is something you are allowed to have or do. All rules and laws must protect a citizen's rights. That means all rules and laws must be fair for everyone. Citizens have a responsibility to speak up if they feel a rule or law is not fair. Some citizens speak up by holding protests. These citizens in this picture are speaking up. They feel a new law to cut government spending on their school is not fair. So you can see this group of students, they're all standing together. They've made signs saying what they want to say, but they are being peaceful and they're just speaking up to say, we think that cutting the funding for our schools is not a good choice. Think about it. Fun Town has lots of cars. Many people living there like to drive their cars very fast. The leaders of Fun Town thought it was not safe for people to be driving so fast. So they made a law to lower the speed limit. A speed limit is how fast a car is allowed to travel in an area. Everyone had to follow the speed limit except people with red cars. Is that law fair? Blue cars have to drive the speed limit. Yellow cars have to drive the speed limit. Black and white and orange cars have to follow the speed limit. But red cars, they can go however fast they want. Does that seem like a very fair law? Mm -mm, you're right, it's not. Why do we think that's not fair? Yes, because a law is supposed to be fair for everyone, meaning that everyone needs to follow the same law. Okay. Plus, if it's not safe to drive too fast, why would a red car driving fast be safe? It's not, okay? All together now, rules and laws do not work unless everybody stands up for them. Standing up for rules and laws means to follow them. You can also help others follow them. It's important to speak up and take action when someone breaks a rule or law. Speak to a parent or teacher, remember, if a person breaks a rule or a law, you must still show them respect. Okay, so if someone breaks a rule or a law, does that give you the permission to be rude to them, or mean to them, or yell at them? No, you still want to show them respect, okay? So treating them like you would want to be treated. However, if they've broken a rule or a law, there is a consequence that needs to happen. So that's why it's important to tell a parent or a teacher or maybe even a police officer if it's a law that they broke, right? It's good to have rules. If you see someone throw garbage on the ground, what could you do? Should you yell at them and say, hey, pick up your trash? You no, know, but you could kindly just say, oh, it looks like you dropped something. Do you need me to help you pick that up and throw it into the trash can? That's a gentle reminder for them to do the right thing, okay? So you could say, let's find a trash can together. That's the rule. You can explain how rules make things better for everyone, and you can even talk about how your actions affect others. 
Now, you know about the importance of rules in your life. Without rules, life would not be easy. It could even be dangerous. What are some rules that you follow to be safe? Let's think about that. What are some rules that you follow to be safe? Do you walk in the hallways at school? Do you hold your parents' hand when you cross a busy street? Do you make sure you ask permission before you go outside to play? Those are all really great rules to help keep you safe. So hopefully you follow them. Can you think of any others? Ooh, that's a good rule. Oh yeah, I like that one too. Good job, friends. It's not enough to follow the rules. It's important to stand up for the rules too. So remember, rules are very important and if you see someone breaking them, it's okay to gently remind them that rules are important. Okay? Learning more words to know. So these are all of the words that we listen to in our story. Um, that gave us definitions or meaning to the word. Okay, so we learned what bullying is, we learned about citizens and community consequences, lots of words. And then at the back of a nonfiction story, you're always going to see an index. So you can look at a word and find out what page that word was on. And this story even gives us a little bit about the author. It says, Jessica Pegas is a writer and editor living in Toronto. She has written several books for teens and children in the areas of science, citizenship, and media awareness. So just a little bit about the author. Okay, so that is our story. Now I have a little game that I want to play with you guys. So I have this friend, and his name's Howard, okay? So here's Howard. Howard is a bunny, okay? And we're going to play a little game where we have to decide if what Howard is doing is following the rules or not following the rules, okay? So I'm going to give you a little bit of context, a little bit of background information about each of the things, and then you're going to either give me a thumbs up if yes, Howard's doing a great job being a good citizen and he's following the rules and listening, or you're going to give me a thumbs down Howard is maybe making a sad choice, breaking a rule, or maybe even breaking a law. Are you ready? Okay. So first, we have a picture of Howard with a baseball on his head. And it says that Howard does not pay attention during the game. So it looks like he's at a baseball game. And he's not paying attention. Do we think that he's following the rules? Yes or no? Mm -mm, you're right. Howard is not following the rules. What does he need to do to follow the rules? Yes, he needs to pay attention. Okay. Here's our next one. Howard is in class and he raises his hand to ask his teacher a question. Did he follow the rule yes or no? Yes, raising your hand is an important rule whenever you are in a classroom because there's so many people there and if everyone talked at the same time it would be complete chaos so good job howard for following that rule okay here's our next one howard listens to the storybook so here's his teacher reading him a story and he is sitting nicely with his listening ears and he's listening to the story did you follow the rule yes or no yes Listening to the story quietly is such a great choice. Way to go, Howard. Next, Howard hangs up his backpack on his hook. Following the rule, yes or no? Yes, that's a great place to hang your backpack, on your hook or maybe the back of your chair. If he walked into the classroom and threw it on the floor, would he be following the rule? No, okay, let's see. What about this one? Howard is bouncing during story time. So look at his friends. They're all sitting crisscross applesauce. They have their bubbles in, their listening ears on. But Howard, he is bouncing all over the place while his teacher is trying to read a story. Is he following the rule? Yes or no? 
Mm -mm. You're right. He is not following that rule. He needs to try harder. All right, let's do just a couple more. Um, oh no, this one doesn't look very safe. Howard is hanging from the ceiling fan. Is he following the rules? Yes or no? You're right, he is not. And remember, we have rules because they help to keep us safe. So he really should follow the rules. All right, let's do one more. This is our last one. Howard looks both ways before crossing the road. Is that following the rules? Yes or no? Yes, good job. It's very important to look both ways before you cross the road because you want to make sure that there's no cars coming and that it is safe for you to cross. Okay, so that is our game. Thanks for playing. Okay, so remember at the beginning of our lesson, I told you that today we were going to be learning about rules and laws and what those look like, what those are, and even how they are different. So our central question at the beginning is, what is the difference between a rule and a law? Do you feel like you answered our essential question today during our lesson? Do you know the difference between a rule and a law? Let's look at those pictures again. So remember, this was a great picture of a rule that we follow when we are in school. We sit quietly while we listen to our teacher teach our lesson. That was a rule. And a law that we learned about is that when we ride in a car, we always need to wear our seatbelt to be safe. So who thinks they can tell me what is the difference between a rule and a law? Very good. A rule is something that we follow during different situations. It's the behavior that we display during different types of situations. But a rule or a law, sorry, a law is something that everybody has to follow because our city or state or country says that it's important that all of its citizens follow it. Great job. I hope that you had an amazing time learning with me today and I hope to see you again next Friday where we'll learn even more about the difference between rules and laws. Have a great weekend, friends. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.